to go. Can you believe it? It's extraordinary. Round 16 saw Adelaide's Mark Rusciuto nominated for the Rising Star Award after he cut loose against Richmond, picking up 19 kicks, five marks and nine handballs. Rusciuto is an outstanding junior player who only last year captained the South Australian Teal Cup side. His mature approach to the game has allowed him to make such a rapid transition. Rusciuto grew up in Wakery, about 150 kilometres northwest of Adelaide and still goes back to his father's orchard to wind down from the intensity of playing AFL football. Short, mainly comes in late, but uh, good stretch in the front. Rusciuto, and both he and Groom have made uh, outstanding starts. In, I know in such a short time, but they've looked the goods. This man only 17. One on five, you could pick that. Out of two men, one on one. Here's this young man that Bruce has been so enthralled with, and what a lovely goal. Towards the centre of the ground, the Bickley. As they go forward once again, that was Visca. The short pass, it's a good pass too by Nigel Smart, and hits Rusciuto right on the chest. He's leading out well, Jared. But if he can convert, he gives the, the Crows another option up forward, and I'm sure they're going to use today as a bit of an experimental game. You wouldn't expect that Sydney will defeat them, but stranger things have happened this oh, weekend. There's a beautiful kick for a goal. Visca, Jarman, then on to McDermott, and McDermott hits Rusciuto on the chest. Classic football there from the Crows. McDermott controlling things in the middle. Tregenza. Oh, Rusciuto plays on. He'll kick it. Yep. He's got his third. Maynard to Tregenza. Daniel's just a little bit late. Rusciuto on a fast lead. I think Mark Rusciuto is very impressive. He's quick off the mark. He's kicked three goals, three. I'm not sure he'll replace the bloke that will come in next week. <laughs> Make it four goals, three. Rusciuto's now on the lead to the pocket. Tony Hall back to the square. Now Rusciuto going back to lend a hand. Two on two here. Who's going to take the mark? Oh, Rusciuto, a brilliant effort. That looked like number six. It did. Oh, what a great mark. He hung in the air. Well, one player that hasn't been in fir first or second gear to this afternoon is Matthew Liptak. He's been electrifying at times, more so in the first quarter than the second, but he set this one up for Mark Rusciuto, who took mark of the day. Well, goal number five coming up, and he has kicked it. Up to the 50-metre line. And a good stretch of mark taken by Rusciuto over the top of Gilbert. Rusciuto runs up near the 50-metre line, kicks it to the goal square. It's a good kick. What a brilliant kick to goal. And he does just that, a long kick up to the 50-metre line. High flyers, no, the crumbs gathered by Rusciuto. What a magnificent kick by Mark Rusciuto. Adelaide, up to the 50-metre line. It goes out in front of Rusciuto. He's too quick. He'll kick a goal, Mark Rusciuto. And he does just that. Brown's kick across his body, in towards a vacant half-forward area. Rusciuto backs himself, goes into an open goal, and kicks the goal. away to the pocket clues it the man of the moment five goals from the pocket can he use this effectively goes back good kick and Rashido will make the distance yes at AFL level to be able to look for the squaring up kick at all opportunities and Rashido is there Let's kick one big long kick Some money bidding on that fellow, wouldn't you? Shooting for goal. What a player he is at 19 years of age. Lead back to Metropolis. Good punch away by McCartney. Metropolis does well. Follows up. Smart. Jamison on hands and knees. Gives it across the cuts as a kick. Bang! Down he goes from the shooter. And they get up. I don't think Mike Tyson would have got up from that. Of the centre for the Lions, can't do so. Now here's an opportunity for Rusciuto as he goes down the wall, ball for Munger! Spotted him, saw the lead, and the pass was good. Swans out of defence, the ball sits up for Costa. Costa's kick inside the 50, bit of luck about that, Rusciuto takes the chest mark. And Mark Rusciuto, who was fantastic last week in the game against Essendon, going for their third. Slight breeze behind, 45 metres, goal! 
There is a theory that uh, some prefer the hit and run tactics, Ross, and others will come a day or so earlier. As that kick goes in towards goal, that looks pretty good from Mark Rusciuto, and the Adelaide Crows have got another one. Jarman, Robert, he bends it back to half for an important ball off. Bad bounce, favours oh. Adelaide. Rusciuto a chance. Who's that bond that's down? Rusciuto bends it back. It's inside the centre square. On raking hand pass comes from Bickley to Cave, and what a game he's playing. Drills it and finds Rusciuto. Playing his 100th game tonight. Big milestone for Rusciuto, who has had a sensational season. Carl's oh, has only got three of them. So Rusciuto right on the siren, and he's kicked a goal. What a way to end for the Adelaide side. Adelaide with the ball. What the heck happened was it's popped in from Bickley and Rusciuto's got it. So Mark Rusciuto, fourth in the Brownlow last season, will kick from about 45. Beautiful effort, marvellous kick, goal. Bounce it like a basketball. Squeezed on the boundary line. Now you see him, now you don't. To Rusciuto, runs into the open goal and kicks a goal. It goes back to Regenza. Here they go, the Crows. Caught high. Oh. Here's a chance for Rusciuto. Can they kick another one? The Crows into an open goal. He has. Oh. player, 124 games in a row, Marcus. Without a break. Here's a chance for the Crows. Bickley. Rusciuto from just outside 50. He's a good thumping kick. It goes long. It goes oh. back. Mark Rusciuto is second. Uh, back down the middle. He'll get out there in the top. Oh, you're gone. You're gone. You're gone. Oh, that one. Well, it can now because Rusciuto has got a pack. He'll steady. 30 metres out. Oh. And here come the crowd. Now Tyson's clear. He's 55 out. Oh, well, it is a beautiful pass to the room. They, as you said, he had a great presence of mind to find Rusciuto. All of a sudden, Rusciuto's got a chance to kick his second for the night. 40 metres out. He's done exactly that. A little more direct here and kicks the ball to set a half forward. Robin Marsh, good belt from the back there by Manton. Franchina, Rusciuto, Ratton under pressure. Rusciuto able to get hold of it. And Rusciuto goes for goal and cleverly goes. Beautiful check side kick. As you spoke, as Cools and yourself. Making the polls here now. Rusciuto came into the game averaging 23 disposals. This is number 13, and it's a gem. By Peckett. So good luck, Justin Peckett. And you'd expect that that's where the interest in the game is now. Here comes the first push. Don't worry about it. It'll go over your head, Tony. Rusciuto won't miss that. He hasn't. The Adelaide Crows to be taken by Tyson. Here's the lead of Rusciuto amongst the water. He skis some 25 metres, but he's got it. These are the shots that could decide the game because there will not be a lot of shots for goals by other team tonight. Hasn't kicked a goal in the final, and he's played in four finals. Big kick then for the Adelaide Crows. Mark Rusciuto from 44 metres. It's low, it's long. It's a very good kick by Mark Rusciuto. Very good kick. Robram. Keen to make amends to Bickley. Bickley goes short. Well played. Directly in front. As I said, important kicks. These late kicks of goal. He's tugged at left, but I think it's okay. It is. A land abounds in nature's kicks. Little kick into the centre. Bouncing ball. Johnson straightens the body. Handball. Okay to Vardy. Vardy gets it across to Bickley, squeezes at the half forward. Rusciuto's got it. And the Roo playing against the Roos from about 54. Bruce, he's pushing it offline. Kicks. It's uh, a good kick off the boot. Certainly the distance. No problems about that. It's a behind. This co big man takes it in. Pittman gives it away to Jarman. The pass has got to be good. It almost was. Martin missed it. Archie couldn't take it. They go again. Robert wobbles it. He wobbles it into the woodwork. One behind. They get the second. The margin is seven He's points. going to get another kick, I think. Uh, the trip was played against Rashido. You're right. He's going to get another kick. So the ball comes back. It's an eight-point margin at the moment. Well, a special moment for Mark Rashido. He missed last year and was absolutely devastated. He's had 12 months to think about it.
Can he kick the Crows first? From just on 40 metres. A floating drop punt and he's got it. Crows are on the ball. Stevens wobbles. Rusciuto did well. Then that half fake one. A dummy one. And then takes them on and takes them on again. They've done what we thought was impossible. They've been to Perth, to Melbourne, to Sydney, to Melbourne, and they've come back. second halves all year and we come from behind again today and it's just a great effort. What was said at half time? Oh, we had a lot of players down in the first half and North Melbourne didn't put us away so we knew if we got into top gear that we'd, we'd be a chance to run over them and it's just a credit to everyone. We've played as a team all year and we've got the results today. That's back to back with the harder six to do. Yeah, I think about time we earned some respect from the Victorians and uh, you know, we've, won, we've had a big year on the road this year and we're going to keep it going next year. Well played and congratulations mate. Thanks Dimmer. Number 32, Mark Rusciuto. Number 33, Andrew Eccles. Crows drive it forward, Mickey Martin. Oh, Rusciuto, what a mark, fantastic. Oh, he went up, he just hung there in the air. Against Mighty McMartin has taken a ripper. Let's hope he can cap it off with a goal after that sensational mark. He drives a goal right through the middle. What a goal, what a mark. It's Costa, play on is the call. The advantage was paid, and it is an advantage. Rashido can answer. He kicks from 51 metres, set sail for home, and there's the answer in seconds flat. And it's still there at the moment, Primus and Wren. Oh, to Rusciuto, he's only got to kick it! <laughs> the ball. He stormed through that tackle. It's their greatest advantage, keeping the ball on the ground and just running it through in numbers, running to support each other. And at the moment, all the run is with the Crows. That's right. Uh, good one taken high, but he still gets the kick. Rusciuto can kick a goal. 35 metres out. He goes for goal and he gets it. And the Crows are still alive. Again, Rusciuto. Take two. What can he do? It looks good. Crows have hit the front. And he's been the difference. 38 possessions to mark Rusciuto. Four goals from the centre. You're not going to get a better performance than that. Mark Rusciuto knew that he knew that the ball would come to the back of the pack. Kangaroos, oh, that's a bad turnover. And Rusciuto might make them pay. He's a big kick. He is a thumping kick. He is a huge kick. Fraser, right out. Rocket right out of the pocket. Josh Fraser in the ruck against Biglands. McLeod. It's so much the Crows playing on the ball. Pump forward. Taken away by Rusciuto. Came from Connell. 55 metres out. Big kick. Big kick. Big goal. Wouldn't think this would be a high scoring game. Carlton. Quick hands, McKay bundled off the ball. Good play by Freeborn. Oh, Caught yeah. high was Rusciuto, and he'll take the free kick. The suggestion is he's under a lot of pressure. Spoke to John Reed yesterday, the football manager for the Crows. He said it's absolute rubbish. It's a beat up by the press, particularly the Melbourne press. Rusciuto from 45 metres out. Right. That's a captain's goal. The clock ticking away. Just 30 seconds left. Kane Johnson. One of the youngest players ever to play in two premiership sides. Pumps the ball inside 50. A chance. Rusciuto. 45 metres out. Kicks a goal. Oh, oh, oh. What a goal for the Crows. Up onto the wing. Roblin the target. Cotton appears to be running with him now. Well flipped out. Oh, Here's oh, Rusciuto. Oh. Got Roblin on his inside. He's kicked two important goals today. Now he has got three. <laughs> what a performance. 
Take a mark to our stats. Tell us they've only taken one mark inside 50. The Crows. Smart and Kudafidis to Rashudo, the hero. Snap around the corner, bends it back. He's kicked. Well, he's a goal, guys. Oh, he's he right, kicked man. a miracle goal. <laughs> Rashudo has kicked four goals, and that is a match-winning goal. That was an unbelievable goal by Mark Rashudo. Incredible shot for goal. Squeezed up on the line. He has bent it back, and he'll be a hero in Adelaide tonight. Oh, KB, Hado, Fenikam. I'm not lying. Every player on the Crow side ran over to Mark Rashudo and said, well done. And he's kicked four captain's goals. He's been brilliant. Didn't. Kellaway. Well done, Bickley. Back turn. Left foot. They just need a late goal, the Crows. Desperate for it. Built it away. Vardy. Vardy. First kick around the corner to McGregor. Good take. Good handle. McLeod comes back. Rashudo, 50 metres out, doesn't get hold of it, but he kicks a goal. He kicks a goal! <laughs> Played a few games for Adelaide when they first started. Now, here's a chance. Rashudo will dock this one. Mark Rashudo kicks, 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 and kicks a goal! Well done, Mark Rashudo, skipper. He gets the Adelaide side second goal. They're on the road, Adelaide. And uh, they've got a lot of fans here barricading against them, of course. But their start hasn't been too bad. They've had five shots at goal for 2-3. Lions lead 3-1, 2-2-3. It is a four-point margin for the home side. He loves that kick around the corner, Mark Rashida, doesn't he? Yep. Very adept at it. Three and a half minutes left in the term. Magpies would do well if they can hold the Adelaide Crows up. They may not. Rashudo, flying shot at goal, good distance, accuracy, goal Adelaide. So they didn't just get the next goal, Bruce, they got the next couple, and they've pulled back once again to within seven points of the Magpies. It was magnificent work by Ben Marsh, who saw the tap in, Mark Rashudo ran onto it, the strength there, he wasn't going to let himself be tackled, he fended off for the left arm. Fifteen free kicks for the night only, nine to the Crows, six to the Saints. Well, you have to earn one, don't you? We're right behind the Roo. It's a goal. Lovely it's a kick. goal. And Dipper, how tall is the grass out there? <laughs> He's I uh, know. Oh, you mean uh, on it, haven't you? <laughs> That's Jarman true, they grow it longer. To Edwards. <laughs> Edwards short to Rashudo. An enormously high number. 19 marks inside your forward 50. St Kilda, on the other hand, have only taken four. He's had another good night, Rashudo. He's picked up in the last fortnight. She struck it beautifully. He struck it beautifully. Thing long, high. McLeod, well done. Comes down. The Roo can kick a goal. He's 50 out. He loads it up. He gives it all he's got. Oh. It's a goal. He decides just to go long and hard. Oh, Rashudo takes a beauty. It's party time now for the Crows. Adelaide by 29 points at the 21 minute mark of this first term. Clark, beautiful palm down and the clearance to go with it through Bickley. Bombed it long to the square. Burton couldn't mark. It's up to the ground level players. Goodwin, Rashido, sold the dummy, runs to an open goal. Six straight, the Adelaide Crows. Backwards here. And a dangerous ball, almost there, Burton. Ball not clear. Johnson pounces, handles wide, too wide for Dowdy. Forced to run back onto it, slips, gets around an opponent, chips it, Rashudo, bang! Took the mark. Kramis Kane. Kicking into the shadows of the Hickley stand, and it's a beautiful drop back. Two goals, Rashudo, and they look invincible. There's a big chance from here, he's had a big say in this. And kick two goals. He'll have to kick at 55 metres. The protection of the Heatley stand, it's a thumping kick. It's accurate too. It is a goal. Rashudo's got his third goal. Hey Murphy says, when asked his motto, says he doesn't believe in mottos, which <laughs> is in fact a motto in itself. <laughs> he chips it. The comedy of errors continues. And around the body, Welsh finds Rashudo. They really don't believe they could win this game, especially if Rashido puts this through for his four. Starts it right, brings it back. It's beautiful. 
the man of the moment, out to McLeod. Has had plenty of it. Kick to the lead. Shell couldn't mark. Tyson Edwards, McKay. Will have to arrive quickly, he does. Goes to Rashudo. lucky ball. Rashudo has kicked the goal. In fact, he has kicked his fifth goal. Good desperation. Quickly mobs up. Gives to Johnson. Another kick to him. Rashuto paid the mark. McKay got a fingernail to it. Yeah, he's just too. telling the umpire about it at the moment. Have a look at... He's watching Hall ahead well, after the there ball. you go. That is a 50 metre penalty. That's frustration, which is Andrew McKay putting first possession. Rashuto comes in to kick goal number six. Goes for distance, down towards centre half forward. Perry in front of Djakovic, falls in front. Rashudo, they need a goal. Rashudo still going outside the 50, swings it back towards full forward. Glass, well done by Burton. No free kick. I think it carried the pair it did. Gee, that's a remarkable finish from Rashudo. He's pressure. He's kicked five. He didn't get that last one, but he helped manufacture it for Perry. The hand pass comes out from Clark with the run of the football down towards half forward McLeod Bickley. Slick hands away, Rashudo. Oh. He's about 55 metres out. Goal umpire Allen has called this one. Wave your flags, Benny. What a wonderful kick. Clark kicks it long inside the forward line. Burton! Up he goes. Well, did the hard work, couldn't hang on. Nelson, Rashudo slips away, needs to pull it back. Good looking oh. kick. Going back, McIntosh. I doubt he got there in time. It's a goal. His third. Goodwin traps it, gets the handball out, bats it, Rashido, both there, Rashido. Conditions a bit slippery and a bit greasy for the players. Once again, King and Biglands. Biglands wins out, gets the kick to Rashido. Around the body, shot at goal. He's been a known goal kicker. And he gets this through, Adelaide hit the front. He's up against a bloke who has got uh, all Australians and all the decorations uh, from a team perspective you can possibly get. And by saying there, you step to the right, <laughs> you're a play on. And he has. Bang. Let's see how intelligent Rashido is. He is very, very intelligent. He's got captain's intelligence. They've worked it back to Schur nicely in the end. Long kick to the advantage of Binky. Good mark. Can Play race on. on. Can kick the goal or oh. go with the pass to Rashuto. Takes the mark. Gee, they're just staying alive, Adelaide, aren't they? With a free man for the opposition, Rashuto. He kicked two goals in the opening term. And make that a third for the game. <laughs> and the captain keeps their chances of winning this contest at Skill Stadium, well and truly alive. Bickley just off the side, but Downey steals it. High towards attacking 50. Cats had the numbers, but they all went to spoil. Edwards stayed down. High kick towards the goal square. One on one, the room! Yeah, good call, Jared. He, he had just, him. As soon yeah. as that ball was in the air, he had the best position because it was going long. You can't ask for more than this. Seven and a half minutes remaining. This kick to put the Adelaide Crows in front by three points. Rusciuto has four. The Crows come away from a half back. They've got the loose man, Bickley. Can he get it on to Scher? He does. Scher runs into space. space One in bounce. Back. He can go all the way. Drop part. How will it travel? Off hands. Oh. Rusciuto. He is everywhere. He has. He's a blind. He is just a beauty, isn't he? He is a powerhouse. His first term was superb. His last term has been even better. You just, you knew that was going in there, Jared. You and I were thinking uh, there'll be no mark here. He had no right to mark that. No, he was running the wrong way. In kick. the wrong spot? Yep. I think Rashudo was expecting him to kick the goal, but uh, just dropped short. And yeah, Mark Rashudo has had a magnificent last quarter. He knows how to be a hero, Mark Rashido. Has been one of the great players of all time for the Adelaide Crows. Goal number five. And they are three minutes away from an unlikely victory. Uh, you just see the just see this one. I'm not sure whether it, 
it is that slight Zephyr that uh, Anthony Mithin talked about or whether it was just a missed kick but it did drop short despite getting uh, what looked to be good perches on it and Mark Rusciuto comes up with what looks like to be a match winning mark well that allows Adams to come in and he did wonderfully well yep. he's created an opportunity Goodwin, Johnson this is where they're dangerous they're away there's some space there can't be hesitation Stevens recovered well though Mark Rusciuto they need a goal they turn to their captain and their captain stands up and kicks the close first goal to Edwards, towards full forward, Rusciuto thumped away from him, he gets it back again, screws it around his body, there's none better. <laughs> to the displeasure of the Swan fans, Clark, steering ball inside, 50, there he is again. He leads well, doesn't he? Mark Rusciuto, no angle, you can see the probability. Chance to make it two late ones from his boot and give the Crows biggest lead of the game. Drop part. He likes it. Straight over the goal on Pius Hat. A missed its target. This is Tyson Edwards with it. Handball off to Bickley. Streaming through the centre. Long ball now for Rusciuto. Got rid of his opponent and did it very, very well. Two wonderful goals into the breeze. And this should be his third. Yeah. Too many problems for Mark Prosciutto. Right through the middle, the Crows answer. Wrap boat up, you can see him there. He can play forward, he can play midfield. They've got him playing half back at the moment. Clark again got the knock. Beautifully done to Prosciutto. That's class football. That's exactly what you're talking about, Rob. Just dominating the hitouts, and that was just brilliant play. Well. Now Laddams onto the left. Good kick. Finds his skipper. And Prosciutto the line up. Pretty tight angle, kicking from 35 metres out, but it is kickable. He's kicked eight goals so far in his seven games this season. He's above his season's average so far, which is 24 disposals. In he comes from 30 metres out. The crowd likes it, Rashido likes it. Long ball low, Carey lost it, has to fight on, but does so to Burns, inside 50, Rusciuto, well done, took the mark inside, he is right in front so he won't be brought around and he will surely level the scores. Wayne Carey, terrific handball. Rusciuto scored goal. Backs to the wall victories that the Western Bulldogs need more now than ever before, Jared. It's just to display the doggy spirit. Yep. Prosciutto could spoil the party. He rips it. And goals. That is the one the Crows needed to get firing. Need to move the ball fluently and quickly, the Crows. They are 23 points down. Off hands, Massey. Hart. Centre wing. Look for the driving ball to Rusciutto. Got back Robbins, but Rusciuto... I do good. notice Graham Johncock has gone forward to add a little bit of goal-kicking power. In good hands too, given that statistic right there. That is the first mark of the game for Mark Rusciuto. He has kicked one goal. Kick on the way is there. Adelaide are coming. Brings it to the front and goes and gets it, the natural left-footer. Handball back. This is Massey, bit off more than he can chew, got it to the skipper. The skipper loads it up, Rusciuto, going, 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 he's brought the house down. And John Cock over the top of Dirty turns around. Got to stop this, the Geelong team. This Big is how they move it really well, the pros. Look at it's horny, you got away nice and easily there. Now it goes out the full forward. Oh, Rusciuto, too strong, too good. And we'll line up to put them square with the Cats. He is one powerful unit. This He's kicked 13 goals for the season. 187 goals in his 226 games. Mark Prosciutto. If we get another front-on view of that one, Ed, you'll see the bench press come into it the right away. But oh, yeah. keep going with his stats. He, he does. He is a good, solid shot. Lining up to make it all square. Cats about 11 scoring shots at goal. This will be the sixth. But the margin will be zero if he kicks straight. He kicks straight, scores a level. 
time to steady, chipped towards the centre square, and it was a well-weighted kick for Edwards. Handball missed Burton, following up Shirley for Tawney. It's going to get by Heffernan, it doesn't matter, he's got Burton in support, and all of a sudden Adelaide have got some run back in their game, and this is Laddams driving it towards the goal square with Rusciuto getting in front and taking the mark, and he will line it up from 25 metres out in the right forward pocket. The third-year captain... Had 19 touches against the Hawks last week. We're right behind the kick. With the camera on the opposite side of the ground. Should be a goal to the skipper. And it is. 40 points to lose. The hit out. Indirect. Stengline to Perry. Getting on top of Neeks now. Maybe this time. Perry going along towards the hot spot at the top of the square. Rusciuto's in front and he's got it. And the skipper will line it up to kick his third. As respect, they stand off them, they zone off them, and if it goes their way, well and good, but if it doesn't, this is what the result is. Little hop and a skip from Mark Rusciuto as he comes in and kicks his third goal. Well, they might be eyeing a three-figure margin in the end as Bickley to Downey. Off to the races, goes short into the pocket, and with strong hands once more. Mark Rusciuto will line up for goal number four. Which is good news. And now the skipper for goal number four. Let's kick 17 for the season. And they're just adding further misery to Melbourne's day. A lot of this quarter on the bench has come back on and got it to Adams. A bit of open ground here for the pros. Look at the chisel. Finds for you the skipper Rusciuto on the lead. Amazingness underfoot, I guess. As Rashido comes in, we'll have to give it everything. Right on 50, kick on the way. That is beautiful. 40 points. Three quarter time lead to the pros, and they're excited. Tough pocket to kick goals from here at Amy Stadium. He acknowledges that and goes short to Rashido. Just too loose from Richmond. With a real chance to punish them again on the scoreboard. And Carey with five possessions in this quarter. So Mark Rashido, the skipper. Up he steps to the 50, launches it, gives it plenty. It's bending, but it's home. His record at long range this season is most impressive. This will take a very good kick. Little Cross skip. breeze. He kicks from about 55. Oh. He kicks oh. it a long way. He kicks it accurately. That is a wonderful effort. Haynes, what's he got? Gave it up. Rusciuto gets it back from Burns and from 50 can really make them pay and he does. So much for the counter punch. They were left wide open and Rusciuto landed the knockout blow. Ball comes in. See to Ronnie Burns. Goes out to Rusciuto. Just outside 50. That is good. Oh, that's first goal of the skipper. First goal of the third quarter. Adelaide, M. Rusciuto, one vote. Collingwood, M. Buckley, one vote. Sydney, A. Good, two votes. There is a three way tie for the Brownlow medal. A. Goods, M. Rusciuto, and M. Buckley. It really is a dream. I can't believe I'm up here. I'm. I'm Probably more nervous than I've been for uh, in my whole lifetime, but uh, yeah, I'm bloody glad I won it. <laughs> <laughs> he got back, he's great in the air, now it's wide open, Rashido, look at that, straight up the middle. And the Roo will go back and line up 40 metres out directly in front. Premiership player in 98, best and fairest winner in 98, and last year, as well as a Brownlow medal. In his 245th game, he comes in make the margin 68 points oh, and as you'd expect the Adelaide skipper does not let himself or his side down he wants to draw Tallis and give it over the top to his captain Tallis doesn't go to him, now he does Prosciutto from outside 50 kicks it straight into the arms of Everett chance for a turnover, Stevens well tackled yeah. Somehow got it to Rusciuto, Henschel, Matt Nutt, now to Rusciuto, from inside 50, he drills it through! Great goal, Adelaide!
Mitchell doing the ruck work this time. Down to Mitchell. But again, they just can't clear the area. This man on his 250th is celebrating in style. And toss it all the way. More inexperienced croak. To full forward off the head of Graham. Mark Rusciuto. One more for the road to celebrate his 250th. What a gun. Good to do. After a you know, start where yep. he had a goal kick on him early. And excellent. John Cock off to the races. So are the Crows. Edwards slips. Gives it back to the skipper. Standing start. Goes wide, McLeod, who turned Fleming inside out. It was a slow dummy, wasn't it? It was, but uh, still fooled him. Hold it well. Well, exactly. And now the rule. And in what direction? On the lead. The captain, only a one time premiership player. And he sends the Crows back out to an eight point lead. High kick. He's down there again. Welsh can't fly. He crumbled it instead. Back to Rashido. Around the body. That's an enormous standing start kick. The power of the Rashido leg. The roof has took. That is a great call, Wayne. It's a problem. Keep to the goal square. Standing his ground is Red Bigland. It's a good move because not many is going to outmark him. Here's Rashido. The raging ball kicks a goal. Game is it the courage you have to take on uh, sometimes and marking back with the ball? Mitchell, Rashido, he can line them up from here, goes toward the goal square. Oh, that's top draw. If you've just joined us, that's what Rashido does. Been on for two minutes, Vix. Oh, he gave a big fist pump to the crowd then as well. I tell you what else he did. There was a, a player on short, I think it was Thompson. Yep. And there's also Perry in, in the goal square who had a, a metre or two, but he just thought, no, nah, I'm the captain of this team. I'll step up to the plate. And he put it over the dot on in the middle of the goal. It was just <laughs> a great kick. What a player. What we talk about players at clubs and the value to that club in its history. Jan Syracuse has been around for a couple of years. They expect him to really take a big step this year. Cooney's been handy. It's a good kick. Prosciutto, great goal. Very good kick. And it's a captain's goal. Matna spreading it wide. Van Berlo off a step. Prosciutto again. Got it. But this is the bloke who's impressed me as always. Uh, it's just a delight to go to the footy to watch Mark Prosciutto play for you. Not pretty close to Cooney on the mark, but it didn't matter. He's got three. with all the answers and now they're really starting to attack. McLeod has a man loose. It's a rule. Did he go for home? Well he did. It didn't ever look as though it was going to carry all the way but he likes it. So that is for the Adelaide fans and the margin has blown out to 65 points. Holland forced to get it out. Gets it out there. Henschel. Chip kick. McGregor thought he had it. Prosciutto chopped in and took the mark. Ruthlessness does run in the Rashido family. His brother's a used car salesman. <laughs> Lines out from directly out. From 40 good metres. Kick. Pretty good off the boot. Superstar pops it through. Oh. Shirley shuffles it to Matna. Oh. He sees that loose throw and it's the route. Plays on from 40. That's as good as it gets. What a two slow to get rid of. Comes in tight, he's up to Edwards, they can set up another one. The Rue goes from 50. Big, long, barreling ball. Stops and gets the handball to Hinchel. Matler now. Back to Hinchel. Hinchel with the drop punt forward. Perry in good position. And he takes him up. Sideways to Rashudo. 
good as it gets, Mark Rusciuto. We saw him kick one from outside the 50 on the run a moment ago. Having another fine year. Kick on the way. Have a look at the ball. He is just a fast, fast act. And that like Hart there to put pressure on, but they keep. Good second attempt, and likewise for Ben Hart. One-handed, Perry is giving them a target. This is where they're breaking down. Rusciuto unloads with a long bomb! Well, when you're looking for leadership, it comes none better than this man here on screen. Comes straight off the ground too. Crowd with a cheer and a boo. They don't like to see their skipper spend any time on the interchange bench. But you want leadership, you want a game breaker. Mark Rusciuto, powerful leg, first kick of the night. Perry has it. And the last thing Port want to do is concede another one before half time. Oh, you gap. never know. Skip Worth, they've got the break, but he had nowhere to go. Now Rusciuto, and now he does have something on the end of it. Well, he has better than that. He has a goal. What a kick. We don't need to do the tour, but you can kick him that long with a drop punt, do you? What a great kick. Well, he's kicked that every bit of 60. There is a bit of a breeze going that way, Robin. I've, just, I've often wondered why they haven't had someone in the goal square most of the quarter. I thought there was a big gap over the back for that young fella, Skipworth, to kick it, but that is just a powerful kick. And you can see the breeze get it, but he's pretty happy with that, the skipper. Shirley. Doughty. Bock. Cool. To half four, the kick's good. He finds Rusciuto, who thought about loading up. He now takes it to the 50. He goes, bang! <laughs> Cut that! Two to the skipper. And the margin's out to 15. Tell us a bit about him, Malcolm. You coached him. He missed the first premiership, played in the second, I think. Yeah, he had uh, bad grinds, uh, Rob Ostio, and... Uh... Oh, look, that, this is, he's a wonderful, he's a wonderful kick, reader of the game. If you let him go, he'll hurt you like that all the time. And he can, very rarely misses goals. He's a beautiful kick under pressure. And a wonderful player for the club. Yeah, trying to break the line, Henshaw gets it, gives it away, now it goes to Riley. Rusciuto from 50 can go the journey. Can go for home and kick a goal. Sense of inevitability about that one. Spills out in the Lecuria direction. Handball missed the body of Davies. Here's McLeod to Goodwin. Over the top to Rusciuto. Calls of Rue around the stadium. Followed by calls of goal. Riley running for him. Thompson now provides the lead. And on the end, as they say, Rue, yes. Bit of a combination from Adelaide fans and they, they just have the numbers though, yeah. they? they win that one on one, Gary. But there's Adelaide numbers every time you look at a frame here, you're seeing three Adelaide players, one or two Eagles players from right on 50 meters. Mark Rusciuto, what a goal! The captain's goal, and the Crows out with the biggest lead in the game. The bounce late, Rusciuto, quick snap, it's home. Back to Knights, and a chance for the Crows here to build, and the kick's OK, Mark taken by Burton. Inside the centre square, kicks to a lead out wide, Rusciuto on the lead and has it from Just the second attempt. Well, he's been missing most of the pre-season, Mark Rusciuto, but he's back for round one. The Adelaide captain from outside 50, thumping kick, he's kicking a wonderful goal from Mark Rusciuto. Last year was in their forward 50. It's been the big question about them, was he hasn't it for the last it well, has. four now, or five years? Just up too often, and that's the that's the area where Neil Craig has to get this team to function better. 21 goals, 16. Mark Rusciuto, that was last year. He knows how to kick a goal. Terrific first quarter. That's his 15th possession for the game. Oh. Not a tough for Regan. Look at Matna. 
He was running almost before he hit the ground. Rusciuto can go bang, and the Crows will be in front. What a turnaround. What a mark by Magda. Seven points the margin now. Biglands. Rusciuto in good shape, takes the mark, and we know he's a powerful kick. And Ian Perry tells him to go for it. Just watched him a couple of times on Clement. Clement's a very quick uh, backman, but Rusciuto's been able to get a yard on him two or three times. They're pretty close to the man on the mark. I think he's just about done enough. He has. Good answer from the Crows. Ball in dispute. Riley did well. Got it to Thompson. Out to Bode. Bode on his natural left side. Decides to chip it further afield. Rusciuto again. She 10 metres in front of James Clement. And there was... Nothing you could do. His kicking has been an absolute feature tonight, Mark Rusciuto. Kicked a so couple from ready. outside 50. This from just 35 metres directly in front. And he puts it through and extends the Adelaide lead. So Mark Rusciuto to kick goal number six. Gee. Monday night. Nine. Popping this one up to half forward. In front, unable to hang on. Stevens. Comes to a shooter. He got six on Monday night. Oh, look at the run go! Ray will kick a hundred for sure. <laughs> Andrew Jarman spot on. How <laughs> about that? Mark of Shooto. Opening kick of the day of beauty. You roll the dice, don't you? Oh, Cox won it down convincingly straight to McLeod. Rusciuto. Riding shotgun for him was good one, and when Rusciuto was five metres in the clear, you knew. He went back. By the time Stengline got back there, Rusciuto uh, basically wrong-footed him, found himself in uh, another another uh, big patch of grass. Fourth shot at goal already today for Mark Rusciuto. He's got his second throws by 11 points. Seven minutes to go. Burton trying to break it open. Stevens. Oh, smart play, Stevens. And Rusciuto will try and put Adelaide in front. That's about the best kick he's ever pocket. Done. This is probably the best side of the ground to kick a goal from. You hit it at the right post and it comes back nicely for you. Captain fantastic. Exactly right, that. He's got five. Five points is their lead. McLeod onto that footy very early for the Shepherds. Rashido lost Carroll big time. And Rashido's marked. And he hasn't kicked a goal yet, Mark Rashido. Six goals, round one against Collingwood, five goals, round two against the West Coast, and he's got one this afternoon. Burton has it, goes off a step, wobbles it to Paul Bullock. Oh. Rusciuto almost for oh, no. one hand to Carroll. Sockers it away, Van Burlo across to Rusciuto, snaps and kicks a goal. His second. He's got the last two. Not this time, and we've seen some 15 metre kicks shorter than that. Goodwin chips it. And the two friends combine Rusciuto to line up from on the 50. Big kick this for Mark Rusciuto. Been a sensational player, and as we said, in round 15, will play his 300th, and That's he there. loads up long. He's as good as it gets. He comes. And then feeds it off to the running McLeod for Dowdy for McLeod. It's a wonderful build-up. It deserves something, and they get it with the Roo, bursting out on the lead and taking a strong mark. Yeah, it was Mark Rusciuto, well... Darren Jarman came out and said he could kick 100 goals. If you look at the way he led there over the first five or ten metres, got a good break on Hay and took a uh, strong mark. And then kick truly. What a start for the visitors. Massey, loose man at half forward, hits it to him. It's Goodwin. He keeps it low, spears it onto the chest of Rusciuto. He'd be leading their best and fairest by some way, I would think. But there, no, that was a nice mate's kick. And they're queuing up for the Crows. Rusciuto on the lead again. The delivery was fantastic and he can line up for his third. Looking after them and they ignored the lead coming forward. Rusciuto gets his third. Dowdy moving it for Massey. 
goes long, Rishuto. First try, great kick through to the position. 13 of the 14 goals so far have been kicked at this Coventry end. Rusciuto for his fourth. Many people already forecasting an Adelaide West Coast decider. As the kick oh. comes into Rusciuto who found a lot of space. Big question begs though, are they in too good a form for this time of year? And can they sustain it for a whole year? The way they're travelling at the moment, one would think so. They're a very fit side. And Rusciuto's got number five. Good one. Inside 50. Teague versus Skipworth. Teague got it to ground. Skipworth kept him alive. Handball's off. That's where it stings. Rusciuto hammers him. Oh, that really hurts. This is where the Blues need to be vigilant. Riley puts it out in front of Rusciuto in the skipper mark, 65 from home. Plenty of numbers inside 50. This is where Carlton need to hang on and just turn these first couple of attacks around. Rusciuto, low trajectory, plenty of distance. Oh. Wonderful kick. Meglins have got it from Riley. Henshaw, cleverly. Swings it back towards full forward. Wonderful mark, Rusciuto. And consider the quality of the opposition. What? But that goes for all the great fullbacks as well. In some doubt coming in, Mark Rusciuto. No doubt about that. Chips at McGregor. Play on quickly. Back to Bassett. He ran straight through the roadblock. And Rusciuto's on the end of the pass. You can stick tackles if you really want to. Mark Rusciuto on track to tonight become the second greatest goal kicker ever for the Adelaide Crows behind Tony Modra. He's got 262 for his career. He goes on to apply a strong tackle. But Adelaide work it forward. Knights to Shirley, 60 metres out. Shirley down towards full forward. Rusciuto too strong. Simply too strong. He's coming off. I just you, he's got a bit of a limp. I hope it's not that uh, hip injury. We'll get to... Uh, well, Chompers, people. Look at it. The goal man with the goal. Rusciuto pops it through. He's got three. Lucky not to get a free kick then. The arm in the back of the head. McDonald taken by Bo. Tried to crash his way through. Wrapped up in the tackle by Copeland. Rusciuto. The skipper. Can it bounce through? That's the thrill of the grass. Oh, behind the back. Goodwin missed it, though didn't. There he is, the great white. He pulls it back. <laughs> He's put it through. <laughs> Sean. <laughs> they got past ball with ease. Spearing past McGregor. Thompson, front and square. Perfect. Chips it inside 15. Rusciuto. 296 game for Mark Rusciuto. Well, that is enough, obviously. 300th in round. <laughs> And he lines up for goal number two, and it brings tears to your eyes to watch him play. He's a superstar. It's an opportunity wide, and he missed that with Junior. Picked up by Magna, pokes it inside 50, and beautiful pass, Rashida. Quite a community as being a sensational player for this Adelaide lineup, at least. And Mark Rashida, second highest goal kicker in Adelaide Pro history, extends their lead to seven. Mark taken by McGregor, plays on back to Bassett. Bassett lays it up ahead of McGregor, putting it across for Shudo. So he is not without a show here. No. Well, watching, on the watching on the replay before, Hunt got a very bad cause to where the mark was. That's a pretty good check. It fell a couple of metres short in terms of where the last one landed, but it's still a goal. Got a boy's half forward. Fair enough. It's a little just goes inside the winner. Inside the 50, Rusciuto comes up and takes the mark. I think we'll have time for him later. <laughs> There's Rusciuto. Well, he's still got an eighth of a match left. There he comes. And puts it through for a goal. He's got four. Five up. Tawny. Now Goodwin is released. 55 out. Pass is perfect. One of the chance of Rusciuto. And this is within range. 
the same thing again, this time from O'Keefe. Prosciutto, five goals against the Cats last week. Unload from 50, long drop putt. It's a straight drop putt, and it's a goal. Gets an inside 50, a wobbler. Jude Bolton waits under it and spills it. Chance for Ambers to make him pay. He got a little knee to the back of the head. Prosciutto, tough in the clinches. Makes Jude Bolton pay big time. He can have a couple of bounces if he wants to. There's the second. Where's the Rue? It's in his direction. He's on the lead. He's got it. And he is within range. Three shots for him a couple of years ago, but that was lace out and actually waited to the last second to see where the Rue was leading to. He's 37 for the year, and he lines up from 50 to bring the house down. Oh, stand by. What about that for a kick? Well, that for a finish. Pushing the block. There goes the kick yeah. down towards full forward. Over the top. Petrie got hands to it. Rashudo snaps across the body and gets his second. Wonderfully played by Bo. Goes back to Rawlings. Nothing wrong with this. Sinclair, the natives are restless. Yeah. Oh, oh, Handball yeah. cut off. Goodwin, it yeah. might be, as you say, Dennis, a win for football. Yeah. Goodwin yeah. sends to Rashudo. This is for his third goal of the night. To make the Kangaroos play for their game plan big time, and Superman goes crash bang wall. Well, Dennis, on a night where we celebrate Mark Rusciuto's 300th game, the only other pro to play 300 is Ben Hart, has not seen any action tonight, still on the bench. Look at the devil. It's not hard, it's for sure though. Pay the ultimate price. Here we go, but, yeah, but, but. They were in the game till about 10 minutes ago. There's for sure though. the Hawks last week. Yeah. Yeah. Digging in his fourth. Tasty stuff. <laughs> well, how did he do that? It was the Dulzera. He's got four. There's Hart again. Crowd enjoying this. Held back for the finale. Edwards. Runs it around the other side. A couple of bounces. Got himself a convoy. The cloud alongside. Kicks inside the fifth end. Up comes Rusciuto. Seven. Mark Rusciuto lining up number five. It would be fitting. And he comes and he slots it. Five on your 300. That's the way to celebrate. As the Crows can kick the first of the half, they really have a stranglehold. Thompson now low down, not too low though for the Rue. And it's the Rue in blue, red and gold, not blue and white. Back shooter. He is a goal kicker. This is kickable. And he kicks it with precision. And the Crows go further ahead. The margin as it was at three quarter time. Tony comes back to the middle, Van Burlo. With courage, St. Rock is the patron saint of travelling, and certainly Anthony Rocker was travelling. Says he's fine, brushes aside the trainer, and just to prove it, used his bad arm. In comes Rashudo, telling kick right on the line. Whiteland, despairing leap, not good enough. John Cox kick again, thought oh. with danger. So. Bock to Thompson. And they get a goal here to make it tough because it's a low scoring game. Rashudo, oh well done. He had a beautiful feel for Denny. Yep. He just tricked Wakeland into it. It's getting larger by the minute. This is a telling kick in an important match. And the captain drills it home, leading from the front. So Buckley and Rusciuto might be at it again next week. Rue hasn't played his last game. And Adelaide with the footy in their hands and with their destiny still in their hands.
Yes, Mark Rashido, what a player he's been. One of Adelaide's greatest ever. Toss of the coin. One of these blokes won't be playing another AFL game at the end of this today. What a moment for both of them. I wonder if that's symbolic. Richie Vandenberg winning the toss, kicking to the left of screen for the Hawks. McGregor down there. And felt clear by the Hawthorne defence through Campbell Brown. It's kept in by Rusciuto. A flying shot in the early seconds. It's offline. Hawthorne hold up. Or do they? Smith turning it over. Paul Pleasure giving Rusciuto a chance. Oh, he got the right curl. It didn't quite carry before it was touched. of the modern era, one of the most admired players in the game. It's a triumph for the Hawks. Last minute of the day, Mark Rusciuto, 32 years of age. He wears that number on his back, and he wears it today for the last time. Malcolm Blight, you coached him. Yes, and it has been a wonderful player, Mark. He'd have a lot of disappointment in his heart tonight. And he's had some great times. When he looks back, he'll look at a whole career, not just his one game, and he'll be pretty proud of what he's done. What we're determined is that any way they play, they can't beat them. Adelaide's a better team than the Kangaroos. Yes. Adelaide Crow victory, and there he is, the man of the moment. Five goals for Mark Rusciuto in game 300. Tim, it was a typical Rusciuto performance, wasn't it? He was powerful, he was clever, he was skillful, he was selfless, and he wasn't the best player on the ground, but uh, just to slot through five pretty handy goals is uh, very, very important. And he's with the man of the moment, not you, Tony Jones, Mark Rusciuto. <laughs> Thanks, Barry. Well, Mark, uh, congratulations. 300 games, and well, we always say to uh, cap off a milestone with a win is just terrific, especially one of that magnitude. Yeah, you never know what you're going to get with the Kangaroos. They always give you a tough battle, but uh, they played us pretty well in the first half. They, they played a bit of a defensive style, but we hung in there, and the important thing is we kept coming at them, and we, we kicked goals in the second half. Hell of a reception for you when you came out, wasn't there? The fireworks, and even Humphrey Beebear was there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a bit over the top here in Adelaide this week, but... Uh, one thing's for sure, we get a huge amount of support from our supporters and uh, we've got 50,000 members which is a huge effort in a, in a town like Adelaide and, and you know they're worth a couple of goals here and uh, hopefully they can keep it up there come final storm. And you had plenty of family support, your mum and dad never miss a footy park game and, and uh, the rest of your family was here? Yeah, they've done a, done a lot of trips from the Riverland down for, to watch me play and I get a huge amount of support from everyone in the country, I mean especially in the Riverland but all over the state really and uh, as I said they're a huge support for all that zone. Fitting too that you're 300 it's going, you got a touch of the Westies and the jumper tonight. <laughs> yeah, a touch of everything. It's probably the best heritage jumper we've had, so uh, I'll uh, look forward to uh, putting up on the wall one day. Right, well, many more, hopefully. Well done, mate. Well done.